All right, from the very minute Kelly Clarkson entered the spotlight, we knew, we knew that we had a genuine superstar on our hands. Yeah, now the <laughs> Grammy winner is about to release her 10th studio album. We've been raving about it and listening to it's it. It's on repeat, Kel. It's titled so Chemistry. Thank you. Kelly, good morning. We're so morning. happy you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think chemistry is an interesting thing mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it has both the negative and positive. Yeah. 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 What, what yeah. made you want to write this album Mm -hmm. When you did, I, I, well, what made me want to write it is <laughs> obvious. I think obvious reasons there, but yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, my life was a complete dumpster fire for a minute. So um, it that helped. Uh, <laughs> but it's more a necessity to me is what I keep telling everybody. It's like not so much. I didn't set out to make an album. It was just that's how I heal and I yeah. process and I figure out where I'm at is writing because I'm not always great at communicating in person. I need to like write it out and think it out. I'm, yeah. And then I come back to the conversation. Like so that that's how I heal. So that's why. I wrote it, but it took a while to release it because most of these songs are two and a half, three years old. I was mm -hmm. telling you, I was like, I feel like this music has already been out for yeah, years. Yeah, so you're not nervous <laughs> about it. I know, so I'm not nervous at all about it because I'm just like, look, I've been living with these songs for so long. You know what's yeah. interesting about you? I feel like I've interviewed you and we've interviewed you many times and I feel like you're always super honest. Yeah. But I also feel like you're like most of us. You present what you want to present and then there's the rest that you hold. Absolutely. I feel like this music is a little bit of your journal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's more than just what you would ever say. You like you won't say many of these things in a sit down interview. Totally. But when you hear the songs, you yeah. hear the truth of what was going on at that point. Yes. And um, it's funny you point that out because I, I wrote many songs for the record and or just in life. And um, there is a point you have kids that yeah. you go, hmm. What's appropriate? Yeah. Like, you know, there's that line for me. Um, and my line was pretty much like, what's already out there? Right. Yeah. Like, what have people already talked about? Yeah. What is out there? And there's plenty that I will never talk about, you know, because mm -hmm. you shouldn't. And, and that's a personal thing between me and my ex and also me and my children, that relationship, mm -hmm. right? So um, I kept those songs just for if I ever roller coaster back and I just pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I kept those songs for me. In a vault yeah. somewhere. Vault that you can find when I'm dead. <laughs> and I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, it was more like I felt like this album, like when you listen, we were even talking yeah. to you like about people connect to it because everybody's hurt. Yeah, everybody's totally. Everybody's felt that mm -hmm. kind of pain. But there's also the high in there as yes. well. Yes. You know? Well, that's, it's not like what I was saying earlier. It's not a typical breakup album. No, it's not. Yeah, I didn't want it to just be like a divorce album. I want it to be a relationship album yeah. because it starts off very beautiful and sexy and yeah. exciting and inspiring, like all the things, you know, like that high, which is favorite kind of high on the album. But. Um, mm -hmm. We talked about you on the show the other day and, and you talked on a podcast about how your ego kept things oh, together Glennon. Glennon. on Glennon. Glennon. Yeah, yeah. And But we kind of felt like, and this is your life, so we'll let you discuss it, but that really it was your yeah. optimism. I feel like you think you can fix things. That you like, were like, I, wait, if I work hard enough. I can enough. do this. I <laughs> no, can do this. I, know, I know I can, I can do, do a do talk it. show. Yeah, I can, I can do it. This. Yes, and I guess that's what I mean. I guess maybe ego is a weird word to use, but like I, I feel like sometimes we get in our own way. We self-sabotage ourselves yeah. in ways we don't realize. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can see hope and you can see potential, and I am an optimist. Yeah. It's annoying. Um, no, it's wonderful. It's beautiful, but, but it can I, also I be very mean. hard. Yeah. Because you see what's never going to be there. Yeah. Which is very um, unhealthy. Yeah. So, so hmm. you know, that that's kind of what I meant, is, like, I think at a certain point, you love someone so much, you love your family so mm -hmm. much, you don't, nobody sets out for that, right? You know, so no. so you just, you think you can do it, and you think, and you try, and you, and then one day you just realize you've you're you been treading water for years. And yeah. Do you think, because I, I have a similar trait with you, like, I believe something can be fixed if you just work really hard at it. Absolutely. But then all of a sudden you become a realist. And I think people think, think realism is bad. It's actually not bad. No. no. Once you make, once you recognize that this is irreparable harm, like they, I, this is not fixable and yeah. that's okay to, yep. to say that. And I think it's, um, it's a disservice to the whole family. Yeah. If you're going to raise, and I've also seen that yeah, in as person. A I've seen that as a kid of like seeing like, this is not healthy. Like, I don't want to live like this when I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you don't want to, I don't want to, Either way is bad. Divorce is never good. My no. kids, I don't, you know, know if y'all know anybody that's mm -hmm. been through anything similar, but it's just like, there's nothing, there's ne that's never going to be easy. Mm -hmm. They're always going to want their parents together. Yeah. They're always mm -hmm. going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. always going to be there. Mm -hmm. But you, you kind of have to go, you know, I was talking to Glennon and I read her book, Untamed, and it was like that line yes. I just bawled to. And it was like something about, you know, you'd never want 
you'd never want your kid in this relationship. Yeah. Like I would wow. want better totally. for them. I want better for my ex. Yeah. I want better for us all. Yeah. Like, you know? right. So it's I just want them to grow up in a you know not a a, a toxic yeah. kind of healthy yeah. unhealthy environment. Yeah. You yeah. know, grief is such mm -hmm. a weird thing because <laughs> I feel like it's a roller coaster, <laughs> right? Yeah. And probably when you were writing a bunch of these songs, you mm -hmm. thought. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe you would never come out of it, and here you are. I, I can't even believe you said that because I know it sounds silly yeah. now in hindsight, but like in it, you cannot see. Yeah, it. you can't see out. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. that you are, yeah. Yeah. you have yes. new music. Yeah. Your show is coming. You're going to be across the street. I'm neighbor. How do you yes. feel about coming across the street here to Thirty Rock? I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of been home like for so long. Yeah. I'm here. I've just been here on and off for right. years. So it's you know I know this building so well. <laughs> so I'm I don't know. I feel like I'm. It's kind of like coming home in an odd sense. Yeah. So I'm I'm very excited. Well, I, as a homesick yeah. Texan, I'm yeah. going to have to show you where the queso is. Girl. I was like I was about to ask you the Texan. I'm going to have to show you where the Mexican food is. Show you where the best talk. Tacos are. Where? I think it's called Los Tacos oh, yeah. Number One or something. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's yes. go. Let's go. And we'll have a margarita or two. Did oh, you yeah. say? Hey. It, yes, it deserved a, a chant, a prayer. I will show you. But yes, that was on my street. Oh, I lived down there. So I will be clear across town and be like, we only have to go. I don't care. That's where we're going. <laughs> I want it, Kelly. We adore you.